Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk a little bit about chemical filtration. Some people swear by it, some people refuse to use it and are proud to say that they have nothing to do with it. And uh, some people are kind of in between. Uh, I've heard lots of opinions. I actually did a, a short survey at the Facebook uh, page, the Ben O. Cichlid Facebook group. And I received the entire spectrum of answers from people that really, uh, uh, really see a difference using it to those who have been fine using none of it. Uh, some even express concerns about uh, whether or not it could be used in certain applications or whether it would affect the um, health of beneficial bacteria. I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually reached out to Seachem uh, and asked them if there was any truth in, um, in products like uh, Pyrogen, like Pyrogen, could it possibly harm beneficial bacteria? And I received a, um, a bit of a, um, I would say a, a inconclusive answer, but enough of an answer to satisfy me that it would be safe to use Pyrogen, um, certainly in a well-stocked tank where, um, where fish are providing plenty of uh, nutrients uh, for your plants. So. You can read the uh, response here yourself and see that uh, what Seachem what Seachem said was a bit uh, a bit in my mind inconclusive or a little nebulous but at the same time it reassured me enough to uh, to feel that it would be safe to use use their product if I uh, had plants in the aquarium or had some concerns about my beneficial bacteria. With that being said, let's look at a couple of the comments that some of the group members made, and uh, and then I'd like to get your take on the subject, whether or not you use chemical filtration, what your thoughts are on it, what your experience has been with it, have you seen a difference, and which chemical filtration method or products do you use and recommend, and certainly which ones would you never recommend? So um, here's what some of the group members had to say. The group, uh, the group survey was very, very basic. Bas I mean, just asked chemical filtration, yes or no. John responded, I don't care for it, less the added expense. Expense is a consideration using that product. Efren said, in my opinion, no. I run my tanks for years without and no problems. For me, just a loss of money. So we did hear that as a theme here in the survey. People rather keep that money in their pocket than hand it over to chemical filtration producers. Peter says, I always use it in all four of my tanks. So we go from one extreme to the other. My friend Dennis says, I use Pyrogen most of the time when I have the extra money. I do see a difference regarding clarity in the tank when I do. It usually lasts me three to four months before needing a recharge or replacement. Now that is an advantage with Pyrogen. It can be recharged. Some people up to say it can be re recharged eight to 10 times and continues to uh, do the job. Ryan loves Chemipure Blue, but only in the HOBs because it's too difficult to use in canisters. And I, I agree, it's a bit of a pain in canisters, opening them up and removing it and putting it back in. I'll tell you, go to a sump. This is how easy it is to uh, remove or add something like Purigen or Chemi Blue. There you go. It is removed and uh, if you want to add it, it's just as easy. So certainly when you have a sump, adding and removing things like Chemipure or Purigen or charcoal, things of that nature, becomes extremely easy to do. So that was the, um, the consensus. Some folks, as you can see, very, very adamantly against it and want to save the money. Others love it. So uh, let's get your take on it. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind when using chemical filtration is you do have to remove it when you're medicating your tank because it, it will actually render the medication uh, useless. It will just trap any of the properties of the medication, not let it really work on the fish. So remove your charcoal, remove your chemipir, remove your pyrogen while medicating a tank, and then certainly add some charcoal for a few weeks afterwards to remove any residual medication and then throw that charcoal away. And uh, 
and then continue using products like whatever it is you prefer to use, maybe fresh charcoal, Purigen, or maybe even something like uh, Chemipure Green if you have plants and feel that Chemipure might, might uh, harm the plants. But at any rate, that's, uh, that, those were some of the thoughts on the use of chemical filtration. I use it uh, currently in the tank behind me and um, I believe I do not have any in the 100, in the FX6 that services the 100, uh, or the, uh, and I don't think I have any Purgen in the, uh, in the 2302s that are on the uh, 60 gallon or in the uh, Marineland uh, dual bio wheel that is on the 60, 60 gallon. So the only tank that I'm running any kind of chemical filtration is in the tank behind me, and that's two bags of the Purgen. So, um, so there you have it. Comment below, be sure to rate, share, all that good stuff, and uh, do share your comments and contribute to this conversation. Uh, this kind of uh, knowledge base is valuable for a lot of us, including myself. Thank you so much.